everyone, welcome to the Brooklyn Brothers. Today we're gonna to be making an antipasto pie. Uh, it's kind of like a pizza. It's got all the Italian delicacies. And we're gonna put this wonderful Palma prosciutto on top. All right, let's get cooking. We're gonna start making this shell for this antipasto pie. Like I said, it's kind of like a pizza. Okay, stretch this out. Make sure you flour it up so it doesn't stick to your hands. There we go. I'm gonna make a nice size crust on this one. There we go. And this is just my variation of a salad type pizza. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bake some of the veggies in it. Gives it that extra pizzazz. And I'm not going to stretch it as much as I usually do. This is a 16 ounce dough. I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it about 14 inches. All right, see that? Nice. And I'm going to go ahead and put, put some garlic and oil on that. We're going to chop some garlic. Everybody loves garlic. Go all around. That's loud. Okay. Put some mozzarella. Let's cover the entire pizza with that. Or the pie. It looks good. Now we're going to put some onion on there. Got some red onion. Let's spread that across. <clears throat> this is kind of like a cross between a focaccia and a pizza. Because the focaccia bread has all these nice vegetables baked into it. Some Kalamata olives. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bake that in the oven for about uh, eight minutes. On the bottom rack. All right, let's finish off this antipasto pie. Looks good. Oh, yeah, look it's at really that. Really good. It's ready. Slide it over here. Then we're gonna add our finishing touches, like our lettuce, just a bunch of mixed greens. Very nice. Then we're gonna put good. some roasted red peppers. These are all the ingredients that you typically find on antipasto. And antipasto means no pasta, if you didn't know. All right, and I want to put a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin, on top of that lettuce. And I'm going to put some uh, balsamic glaze on it. Okay, just kind of drizzle that on. Very nice. Perfect. Then we have some palma prosciutto that I picked oh, up yeah. from Jimmy's. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spread that around. Spread the love. Very nice. There we go. You want a piece of prosciutto? Yeah, yum. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's go ahead and cut this baby up. Wow, it looks perfect. Of course, it's got a nice crunch. It looks good. Oh, let's put the pizzuto on there. Put some more on there. There we go. 
Just break good. it out real nice. And there you have it. Antipasto pizza. Yum, yum. Ready to go. Looks great. Let's eat. Gonna test out this uh, antipasto pizza or pie. All right, bring another one on there for me. Hey, you can have the big one. Thank you. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm an office fan, can't you? <laughs> wow, look at that. Beautiful. It looks good. Holds Let's give it a nice, try. Nice carriage. Mm, perfect. I surprise myself sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate the subscribers, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. See you next week. Bye.